Okay, so let me just share again the screen. And we're going to click right here. I'm going to show you, not this one, this one. There it is. For instance, these integrals, right? When you see these integrals, right? Uh, this is well, these are fractions. So I have to go to the integrals that have fractions. I have here my formula booklet, you see? Your formula booklet, stop sharing. let me just put the first one again. So it's integral dx over a square root of nine minus x squared, right? So it's okay. But suppose I want to show, solve this integral, yeah? And I have to check my formula booklet. So I see here my formula chart, the booklet, right? At the end, we have the formula chart. And then I try to find something similar to this one. Remember, you're not going to find exactly the same thing, just something similar, it's okay. I have, in this case, a fraction. So this is the one with a fraction here. You see, the one with solution is the natural log. It says, well, no, this is not going to work because I have here a square root and there is no square root right here. So I'm going to find which one has square root. And I see here, I have one with a square root and I have a second one with a square root. The second one right here at the bottom, you can see, has a u at the, at the outside. So it means that you should have here an x. Well, you don't have an x, so this last one cannot be used. So the one that seems useful is then integral du over the square root of a squared minus u squared equals the arc sine of u over a, correct? So I have to uh, try to match the best formula, right? And the best formula looks this one. So let me just now go one to one, the square root with the square root, yeah? A squared is nine, so this is okay. I'm going to match, this is okay. A squared be the nine, so the A is going to be three, correct? Because you square root this one, you get a three. And then, the u is the x, correct? Now, what I need in my formula, the du, I have here the x. So remember by u substitution, du equals the derivative of x, that is one times dx. Or really, du equals dx. So you see now that you can express this one as this one. So just a equals three, u equals x, and du equals dx. So this is going to be very simple. So my integral mm -hmm, is going to be, right? Is going to be, my integral is going to be integral, right? Dx over a square root of three s squared minus u, uh, x squared, x squared. And well, if you match, you see the solution is going to be the arc sine of the u, well, the u is the x over a, and the a is three. So you put here this plus my constant, correct? So my solution is going to be this, the integral of dx square root of nine minus x squared. After you match these terms in the formula, you see that your solution is very, very simple is the R sine of x over three plus c. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, let me just now go to a little bit more complex integral. So I'll go to my assignment again. So share screen, this one. And suppose I have b, okay. The integral the dx over five, plus x squared, right? Now, this is the integral I have to solve. And now again, I go to my formula chart, right here, my formula chart. And I look in the integrals, which one looks like this one. I say, well, this is a, a fraction, but the ln again, right here, is here, the ln. So, but if I make this u, du is 
two x, and I don't have an x with the dx, you see here. So I'm going to go down, and I'm going to see this one, you see? This is five plus x squared, this is u squared plus a. Well, you can switch the addition. So let me see if I can match this one, right? So I have integral du over u squared plus a squared, right? And this is one over a, the r tangent of u over a. So that's the solution, uh, plus the constant, right? Okay, let's see, let's just match these two. Mm -hmm. um, again, you see that this match these, the denominators. So you say, okay, let me see, let's do the a squared equals five. And well, if I make x squared, a squared equals five, so the a has to be the square root of five, correct? Then x squared with u squared, then I'm going to make u equals x. And then the du, again, is going to be simply this dx. So this is okay, let me see, let me just write my integral. So I write my integral, so integral uh, is going to be dx. Here is going to be the trick. This is going to be the square root of i squared plus x squared, you see? So the trick is this one. If you don't have a square like here, you, you take the square root of the number and then you square. Mm -hmm. Now, if you match the formula, this is well, the a is a square root of five, so I have one over the square root of five, the r tangent of x, x is the u, so I don't have to do any change, the square root of five plus e, correct? So as much as I uh, match my expressions, right, I'm going to um, find the answer, right? This is the formula I know. I match the two expressions. I identify who's who. And then I use my formula to find a solution. Mm -hmm. OK, uh, pretty much all the problems are going to be like that. Let me just go back to this one. So share screen again. This one, uh, for instance, this one is a little bit more difficult. Let me just go and go D. So the problem D has the integral e to the x over four plus e to the two x dx. Okay, now what looks scary? This is man exponentials and then a quotient. Oh, this is going to be difficult. It's okay. But again, remember, here are the solutions. So you, let, you have to look for a solution. So it's okay. This is a quotient, right? And you can see, okay, I have this one. This is 4, okay, plus e to the 2x. So let me just check if I can match this one. So as I have integral du over a squared plus u squared equals one over a, the tangent of u over a, correct? Plus my constant, of course. Okay, now let's see, how can we match this one? It's okay, I have the denominator, this is the first one I'm trying to match. It's okay, let me just do for the a squared. So it's okay. The a squared is four. So the a is the square root of four. That's a two. Yeah, so a squared is two squared. Then let me just match u squared, u squared with e to the two x. This is okay. U squared is this one. So I have to remember some algebra, basic, basic algebra. What is the basic algebra tell me? That if I have a to the n to the m, this is a to the n to the m, correct? So the power of a power is the product of this one. And this is the product of 2x, 2 times x. So what I'm going to do is very simple. u squared equals e to the x squared. 
So I'm going to use this rule. And then the u, obviously, is going to be ex. We need differential of u in the formula. So I'm going to put du is the derivative of this expression. Well, everybody knows that this derivative is e to the x times dx, correct? So I see the expressions I have is OK. ex dx is right here. 4 is 2 squared. This expression is right here. And e to the 2x is e to the x squared. So what I have to do only is write again my integral. So this is going to be the integral e to the x dx over 2 squared plus e to the x squared. Correct? So now this has this shape, so I can do my change. So this is going to be the integral du over, let me just put here, 2 squared only plus u squared. And this answer is going to be 1 over a. Well, the a is 2, r tangent of u over 2 plus c. And the only you have to do is write back your expression in x. So this is going to be 1 half the r tangent of e to the x over 2 plus e. So all these problems are going to be due substitution, OK? So again, you receive a problem. You look in your formula chart. What formula may fit? Once you have the formula, right? You match the terms. You have to do some algebra, even the very basic algebra like this one, right? The very basic, like you get this. And then, well, you use your due substitution and then you find the solution, okay? Let me just go to a little bit more complex problem now. So I have, um, share screen, this one. Let me just go back here. Um, one of these two, for instance, right? Yeah. Oh, let me see. Yeah, that one, because this is pretty much the same as the first one I made. Same this one. So let me show this one. Uh -huh. So you have integral of x plus 9 over x squared plus 9 dx, correct? OK. Now, again. I check my formula chart and I see this. Well, I have here a quotient, so, and I have x plus 9 that looks like the derivative of this one, so I possibly can use this one. So let me just put that one. So I have integral du over u equals ln absolute value of u plus c. E. So, but what other one can fit? This is well. Something like this can fit because I see x squared plus 9, you see. This is x squared plus 3 squared. So possibly this one is going to fit, uh, help me. So it's going to be integral du over u squared plus a squared equals 1 over a, the r tangent of u over a. Right? So I have these two problems, these two possibilities to solve this problem. Now let's check the first one, this one. Okay. This required that the, all the denominator be the u, correct? So u equals x squared plus 9, right? Okay, let's see. du, so this portion right here at the top, is the derivative of this. This is 2x times the dx. Now, let me check what I have in my integral. 2x dx, well, I have x plus 9. Mm, no, not necessarily. The 2 is not a problem. I can put a 2 here and divide by 2 outside here. But the 9 is a problem. So this cannot be. Let me check this one, right? OK, so I have u squared. So u squared equals x squared. So the u equals x. 
So the u equals uh, the x because it's one times the x. But there is a problem. Uh, the x is right here, but I have this extra. So I don't have any x plus nine here or any x right here. So directly, this does not fit my problem. So this seems that they cannot solve my problem. So what I'm going to do is, well, let me just do some algebra before, right? Okay. In this case, right, you were needing an x at the top, this x. In this case, you were needing just a constant right here. You have a constant. So this is going to give me a clue. Possibly in a single pack, I cannot solve the thing, but if I do some algebra, for instance, I remember that a plus b over c is a over c plus b over c, so it's eighth grade math. So I can possibly split this integral and, and write it like this one. So it's equal the integral. All this is going to be the c. So I'm going to have x squared plus nine x dx plus the integral of nine over x squared plus nine dx. So what I did, I split the fraction this fraction like this, and then I split the integral using the properties of the integrals, right? That the integral of an addition is the addition of the integral. So I have this. Now let me see. Okay. If I take this with this one, and I take, for instance, let me just use the first u substitution. If I take u equals x squared plus nine, right? The u is two x dx. Okay, no problem, because I have an x, I can put here a two and outside a half. So this is suitable. Now, suppose I want to do this one, let me just take now, okay, this one, this is a nine, the nine can be put outside. So I can put, I can fit this two, right? So a squared equals nine, so a equals three, and then the u equals the x. So let me just use a b. In this case, let me just change variables to not make confusions here. Let me just put here a b and just put here a b. It's the same thing, just I don't want to use double and make confusing this. v equals x, so dv equals dx, right? So I see this is okay. dx is right here only. I need a nine, or I can put the nine outside, so no problem. So dx is d, dv in this case. Let me just put it here also. Mm -hmm. And well, this match one to one. So my two integrals are going to be very simple. This is okay. This is, I need a two. I'm going to put a two. So integral of two x dx over x squared plus nine. And if I put a two, I have to remove the two, right? Plus nine, the integral of dx over x squared plus three s squared. So you see, I'm trying to match this, this with this one and this with this one, correct? Now, this is going to be solved by this formula and this is going to be the solution. So what I have to do only is, okay, let me just put it right here, equals, so I'm going to use my calculus, this is going to be ln, because the u is x squared plus nine. So it's, uh, let me just go step by step then. So one half the integral du over u plus nine integral dv over d squared plus three squared. So I have my formulas over there and now I can just simply put my answer. So this is going to be, mm -hmm ln of u, so I'm going to have one half ln absolute value of u plus, this is going to be nine times one over three, r tangent of v over three. And the only I have to do is 
write my expressions back. So remember, that I, the only I did is put these formulas right here, these solutions. And then I'm going to put, who's the u? The u is x squared plus 9. So I'm going to put here 1 half ln of x squared plus 9 plus, well, 9 divided by 3 is 3. And I have our tangent of v, but the v is x. I'm going to put here x over 3 uh, plus my constant. Here is my answer, correct? So what was the situation here? Well, that the original integral as a block like this cannot be solved. But if you do some algebra and you split this in two simpler ones, every one of these can be solved using these two. I do my u substitution and I solve my integrals. You see? Everybody? No questions, Isaiah, really, just Luis is pretty much fine. Mm -hmm. So what is the secret? Right here. Here is the secret. These are the solutions you are going to count with. So your problem has to be matched with one of these. What do I need to do? So on algebraic manipulations, okay? Like this one, as simple as this one is going to break this problem in two solutions, okay? Okay, let's see another problem now, a little bit more difficult. Let me just go this one. Um, for instance, let me see. Let me just do I, this one, I, okay? So, <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I have integral of dx over the square root of x, parenthesis, 1 plus x, right? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Okay, stop share. So that's my problem. Okay, now again, yeah, okay, let's see what, which one of them can be the solution. So, okay, let's see. Uh, it's a quotient. So, let me see. This, well, no, this has two variables, square root and g and x, the square root of x and x. So, this cannot be because it's just u. Okay. Let me see the next ones. Okay, I have a square root. This has a square root. This has no square root. So, this is square root. So, possibly one of these two. Is going to help me, correct? So, but here is a problem. It's okay. I have the root and outside the variable. So here is the root and here is the variable. Mm, but there's a problem here. I see a square. Well, let's see. I don't see another, another way out. So I'm going to try that formula. So I'm going to try to match with integral of du over u square root of u square minus a square. This is 1 over a, the r secant of absolute value of u over a, plus the constant, correct? This is okay. Let's see what algebraic manipulations we can do to this to, fa to find this one, correct? This is okay. Let me just begin the matching. Okay, the matching here is, well, the square root with the square root. And um, let's see. So, and this one with this one, right? So, um, well, let's see. One plus X equals U. Let me just put it right here, if it's possible to do it. So, u equals 1 plus x, correct? So x is going to be u minus 1, correct? So this is the match. I'm trying to match my expression. So I put the radical with the radical, and then I put 1 plus x with the u. 
is okay. Well, the radical don't help me too much, but u equals one plus x show me that x is u minus one. So I can do my first change. So this is going to be, for instance, the integral, uh, dx equals du, right? dx equals du. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change dx by du, dx by u minus one, and the one plus x by u. So I'm going to get du over uh, a square root of x minus one. And here I'm going to put, no, I'm going to put really, no, let me just put it here. So a square root of x is going to be a square root of u minus one times u. You see what I did? Where the u, u plus one was, I put a u right there. Where the square root of x was, I put a u minus one, a square root of u minus one. And where the dx was, I put a du. It's okay, now let me see. Uh, well, I'm still in trouble because this is a square root, right? This is the square root. And no, I don't see how. This is u squared equals u, and this is the square root. Mm, that's a difficult one, right? Mm hmm so no i don't see a way out here because i can put here for instance uh let me just match this one so u is this one a squared but this one let me see mm. let me just change this variable to avoid confusion let me just put here a v here a v and here a v so this is v, v, and b, correct? Now, mm, try to match this one. So v equals u squared, a squared equals one, and v equals u. So I have a problem because b is double defined. So no, no way out. Man, that's weird. So this formula is not matching this. Okay. Let me just see again my formula chart. Okay, let's see this one again. So this pretty much was this one. Okay, no, this is not working. Here, this one, yeah, not working too much. Also because I have an X outside. So it seems that I have to try this one. I have no other one. Okay, let me just put here integral du over u squared plus a squared. Okay, so this expression has no square root. So what I'm going to do is, okay, let me just match this with this one. So I'm going to match this with this one. So I have a plus, I have a plus. This is a constant, so let me just try a squared equals one and u squared equals x. Mm -hmm. That way I match the thing. Now, according with this change, a is one, so one squared is one, that's not a problem, and the u is the square root of x. So u squared equals x, so u is the square root of x. Now, let's see what happened with this one. If I take the u, this is going to be, okay, uh, the derivative, respect x of x to the one half, remember, the square root of x is x to the one half times dx, correct? Now, what is this derivative? Okay, this derivative is one half x to the negative one half times dx. Now, I'm going to put here again back the root. So this is one over two square root of x dx. Now, let me see the thing. Okay, uh, this looks fine because a squared is 1, u squared is x, and dx over the square root of x, you see, dx over the square root of x is right here. And the only I need is a 2. So this is cool. I can really put a 2 with this one, and I have the expression dx over 2 square root of x right here. So that's my change. 
So let me just write my integral like that. So my integral is going to be integral. So it's, I'm going to put this one over, let me just put it right here, is us squared plus a. So this is going to be a square root of x squared. You square this one, you square this one, plus one square, right? I'm going to put here the x. Then I'm going to put here one over two square root of x and then the dx. So I'm going to write this expression now as this one. You see? So I group this one right here and this one is right here. Okay? So I'm going to make my change. So this is going to be the integral one over u squared plus one squared times, well, all this is going to be du. So I'm going to put here du. And now this integral is this one. And I remember what is the answer is one over a, our tangent of u over a plus e. So this is going to be equals then one over a. This is one over one, so that's a one. So this is going to be the r tangent of u over one, correct? One over one plus c. And now what I'm going to do is put back but my expression u is the square root of x. So this is the r tangent of the square root of x plus c. Okay, so this is the point with integration. What you see here it is going to require some algebraic manipulations to match one solution, one formula, and then get the solution. If you don't visualize this change, there is no solution. You see now, we tried one and we were unable to do something, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we tried the other one and pretty much matching, we found a solution, okay? A ver, any step here not clear? It's very important, this example is difficult. Really, just yeah. pretty much you got every step? Yes. Panda, Luis's. Fine. Okay. Only the practice is going to master this these things. Okay. Only the practice. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Uh, let me just do the last one. Right. It's going to be a definite integral. For instance, L. This one right here. Well, this one right here is indefinite integral. Correct. Tomorrow, if you want to review, we can go through these problems also. But pretty much, uh, they are the same thing, except that they have definite integrals. I don't want to go too far. So let me just do this last one. Then you can try the ones in the, in the homework like this. So uh, I have the integral 3dx over x squared plus 6x minus 18. Okay, now this is the integral I have to solve. Yep, and let me see what I have here. Okay. Uh, it's yep. plus 18. It's plus 18? Yeah. Oh, plus 18 there. Thank you. X squared plus 6x plus 18. Yep, let me see. Uh -uh. Mm. Yes, you're right, plus 18. Okay, so you have this. Okay, now again, this is a fraction. Okay, let me see. Fractions, well, this formula solves fractions. And this solves fractions. So let's see which one. So this has radicals. I don't have any radicals, so these two are out by now. So I have this and I have this. Okay, let's see. So, two possibilities. Integral du over u equals ln absolute value u plus z. 
second possible formula is VU over U squared plus A squared, one over A, our tangent of U over A plus C. Okay. Okay, let's see which one of these two may work. Let's try the first one. Okay. Let's suppose we, we do U equals the bottom. So we match this one so the three can be out of the integral, no problem. So we can match this with the U. So U is X squared plus six X plus 18. So I need the U. Then derivative of this is two X plus six times dx. Okay, let me see now what I have in my integral. So I have this is this. The top I have dx6, but I have 2x plus 6. I don't have any x right here. Oh, okay. Any x right here. So, mm, that's a problem. So this is not going to work. So this integral, of this formula cannot be used. Okay, my possibilities shrink. I have now this one. So let me see. Now this has to be this one. So I have to do u squared plus a squared equals x squared plus six x plus eighteen. So this has to match. So if I want to use this formula to solve this one, I have to write this denominator as the addition of two squares. This is meant one has to be a number and the other one obviously has to be an X, right? So U square, U square has to be something uh -huh, with an X inside, correct? Now, this is going to be the trick because I have X square plus six X and I need to complete a square like this. So I have to remember algebra one again. I have to remember this formula, a plus b squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, this portion looks like this one, you see? So I have a square. When this is a number, I have here a number plus the x. This is the x. So this match this one. So I'm going to try to find something like this. So it's OK. Let me see. Let me just write my expression again. So I have, this is my expression. Let me just put this one again here. So I have x squared plus 6x plus 18. Now I'm going to match term to term. Let me just make the a the x. So here the a is again, so I have here an x. Then I here had a 2. Well, I don't have a 2 here. So what I'm going to do is simple. 2 x squared. And then six is two times three. And I'm going to put an X at the middle. So it's two X, right? Let me just do a different X to avoid confusion with the multiplication sign. And I have six X is two X times three, correct? Now, let me just match the two with the two, the A with the X, and then here the B is the three. So I need b squared. So b squared, there is no way out, is 3 squared. Then I have an 18, this 18, correct? And now, because I put this one and I need the same expression, so I need to subtract 3 squared. 3 squared minus 3 squared is the same, uh, zero, so is the same expression I had before, correct? So this has to be equal, but there is an advantage here. This can be written like this. So this is x plus 3 squared plus 18 minus 9. Mm, that's a 9. Correct. Now, let me see what I was looking for. I need this expression like this. This is this expression. So let me just write again. So u squared plus a squared is, right, x plus 3 squared plus 9. You see? Why? Because this expression is exactly this. You see that? This expression is exactly this one right here. 
So this equals this, there is no way out. I have u equals x plus three, and a squared equals nine, so a equals three. You see? u equals x plus three and a equals three, so oh, that's good because now my expression is going to be very simple, check. Yeah. Integral, three times the integral, I'm going to put this three, I'm going to put this three out, so I have three dx over x squared plus six x plus 18 is going to be three times the integral dx over x plus three s squared plus nine, right? You see that? Now I'm going to use this formula. The u is, so the u is x plus three, the a is three, the u is dx because the derivative of this is one. So this is going to be three times the integral du over u squared plus three squared. And then this is simply three times, okay? Solution one over a, so it's one third the arc tangent of u over three, right? And at the end, the only I have to do is put my x's, my u value, this one, for in terms of x, and I'm going to have three over three cancels. I have r tangent of x plus three over three. Of course, plus my constant. Okay. So again, let's review what we did. We have another fraction, something like this. We try to match formulas. Well, this didn't work. This one looks that it may work if you make this denominator exactly this one. So you have to express this one as the addition of two squares, you see, two squares. So that means that u squared has to be x plus minus something here. I didn't write it, plus minus something, right? Such that you get this one. Remember, how can I find that one? Because I remember this expansion of the perfect square, a plus b squared is this one, so this looks like this one, so I begin matching term by term. And then what I do is complete the square. So I group something x plus something square. So I can express this polynomial like this addition of two squares because you know three squared is nine. So I make my change, u equals x plus three equals three. So I rewrite my integral, this denominator as this one, I do my u substitution, I get this one, and with the formula, I find my answer. So again, right? Again, you need what? Algebra, correct? So algebraically is the only way you can match two expressions, okay? Questions here? Pretty much you are fine to begin the homework. Uh, a ver, tomorrow, tomorrow I have a meeting by 10, right? It's not going to be long, but if you want, I do the next integrals, for instance, right here. Uh, let me just put it right here. What is it? What is it? Uh, chapter five, what is it? Right here. No, stop share, not this one. Where is it? This one, how is it? Mm. Estos. Okay. Okay, right here. Let me just go back again. Let me just share the screen. If you want, I solve integrals like these ones, right? With the limits of integration. Then I see you tomorrow at 1045. It's not very difficult. It's exactly the same. You see, it's, you have to do exactly the same, the matching of the formulas except that you have to adjust the limits of integration, okay? So if you want more explanation of these integrals tomorrow, 10.45. Then on Wednesday, I will have to do slow fields, okay? Pretty much everybody fine? Mm -hmm. Okay, so...